Good morning and happy hump day. Welcome to Show Me St. Louis. I'm Malik Wilson. Bonterre, Missouri is home to just over 7,000 people, but the small city attracts tens of thousands of people yearly from around the world to venture off to what is said to be an underground passage to the past. I had the opportunity to pay the place a visit, and I have to say, it was truly an experience of a lifetime. What happens when you pull onto our parking lot, you look around, you see all this mining equipment, old stuff, and you go, what's the attraction here? Well, the attraction's 200 feet below you. 200 feet below Bonterre is a world of its own. You go through that mule entrance door and your world changes completely. You are now in a completely different world. On the other side of these doors lies geology, geography, and tourism all in one. The mine is all about history. This is a walk through history if you're on the tour. The mine was first created in the 1800s and became the world's largest mine for lead and ore. In the 1960s, the mine officially stopped operations. Not long after, Douglas Jurgens and his wife Catherine stepped in to turn it into what it is today. We've, uh, we've, we own, we've owned West End Diving Centers in St. Louis since 1972, and we needed a place to certify our students. Prior to that, we were going to Lake Norfolk, which is about 250 mile one-way trip and was very seasonal. My wife said to me, hey, why don't we look at the uh, Ontario mine and see if we can develop that for diving? I said, you gotta be kidding. But Catherine wasn't kidding. In the 1970s, the couple set out to clear the mine to create not only a place for scuba diving, but also a place for tourists to come and visit. It's all about history of the lead belt area, what made this area so uh, functional and so grand. And the, this was the world's largest lead mine, opened in 1860 and they closed it in 1962. Uh, so they mined millions and millions and millions and millions of tons out of here. So just about everything that was attributed to the use of lead up until around the 1950s came out of this mine. The mine tours and dive operations have been going strong now for decades, attracting thousands from around the world. I mean, Jacques Cousteau uh, came here in 1983 and came for a half day, stayed five and a half days filming here. He was so astonished with the mine. Uh, then uh, we've had numerous, uh, we had an IMAX film that was, uh, that was shot here. Uh, we've had uh, History Channel several times, Discovery Channel, Animal Planet. It's really no question as to why these big networks want to pay the place a visit. And quite frankly, seeing this through an image just doesn't know justice. You truly have to visit the place for yourself. If you're thinking about making that visit and want to stay a few days, the Jurgens have you covered with the old Bonterre Depot. Well, that was built by the mining company as well in uh, the late 1800s and then uh, rebuilt around 1909. And that's a bed and breakfast. That's a Victorian train station. It's a national historic site, as is the mine. And we have train rail cars you can stay in and a uh, banquet facility as well. That's about a block and a half away from the mine. You can visit the Bonterre Mine by just visiting that website right there on your screen. You can also uh, give them a uh, research or two about their scuba diving by visiting that website as well.